Thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. In today's episode, we are diving for shark teeth in Venice, Florida, also known as the shark tooth capital of the world. We're on a mission to find teeth from the now extinct Megalodon, the gigantic shark that once swam in our waters. This is something I've wanted to do since moving to Florida. So we planned a trip with Michael Nastasio from Black Gold Fossil Charters. Black Gold runs charters seven days a week, that includes a three tank dive, and you do have to be scuba certified. We met Captain Michael at the boat ramp early in the morning, got loaded up, and headed out the Venice jetty for a fun day of shallow water diving. We would plan to dive anywhere from 16 to 32 feet. We were hopeful that we would strike gold. Black gold! Or black gold, as Captain Michael says. Black gold is a nickname for fossilized shark teeth. They turn black as they absorb the minerals from the rock and soil that's around them as they sit on the ocean floor. And a megalodon tooth, just to put it in perspective for you, can range anywhere from a dollar to a million dollars, depending on both the size and the quality of the tooth. Michael's been hunting fossils professionally for more than a decade. It started as a hobby, turned into a passion, and now a career. And if you spend any amount of time with him, you'll see exactly how passionate he really is. Six and a sixteen. It's big, it's pretty. I love it. So if you're looking at this side, he's getting ready to eat you. <laughs> if you're looking at this side, you are in his mouth. Before we got in the water, we went over some things that we could expect to find down below. Tiger shark, hammerhead, bull shark, or dusky. That's actually a bull, there's a difference. Sand tiger and limits. We were learning so much from Michael and we hadn't even been in the water yet. I always ask everybody who would pick up this rock. You can't touch it to look at it unless you pick it up, right? So be honest, would you pick this up down there? Maybe. Maybe? Well, you maybe found a mammoth tooth. That's cool. Columbia mammoth. After our quick lesson on fossils, we suited up, got on our scuba gear, Good luck. and jumped in the water. Due to a recent storm, Michael told us the biggest goal was to just cover ground while we were underwater and not to waste time digging in the sand because what we would find would already be on top. The best time to dive for shark teeth is low tide after a storm when the ocean floor has been stirred up. quickly started finding what appeared to be small fossils on the top of the ocean floor. I couldn't help but wonder what these creatures looked like and what their story was. I could hardly wait to get out of the water and learn more about what I collected. Oh! I, know. I was really excited about that! She got a megalodon tooth. It's not a hole, but it's a tooth. It's okay. Is that your first one? Yeah! Gangsta. Yeah. Right there. So that's a start. That means you know what you're looking for. And that's why I didn't want to go down there and be like, this, 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 this. Yeah. I wanted to see what you guys did on the first see dive. See how well we paid attention to your board. That's a good one. It's got really pretty. The root is like brown. So when that dries, it's going to be really light like the beach. Oh, wow. Hence the name Golden Beach. That's where we're at. Golden Beach, Venice, Florida. So oh, cool. I like this area because... You know, you get a lot of the color from here. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. Same, same. It looks like the identical two. Wow. Here, look. She got twins. <laughs> and see the color of the root? Yeah. When it dries, it'll get way, 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 way wow. lighter. Yeah, that's cool. You go. <laughs> that's like rib bones, probably. That's another one. Dugong. <laughs> you the dugong. Dugong queen. <laughs> 
You kept all the phones. That's a rock. You want it? I got excited. No, okay. Yeah. You can get excited. It's fine. That's what I'm up here for. Tell you no. That might be a rock. Rock. I'll let you identify the rest of these. Rock. <laughs> What's more exciting underwater? I don't know. I thought it could be something. It might be a rock. <laughs> The first dive went really well, but the mission for the next dive was to find more fossils and less rocks now that I had a better understanding of what I was looking for. Finally, the moment we'd waited for all day. that beautiful megalodon tooth sitting on top of the ocean floor. So we just completed our second dive and we found a megalodon tooth. Actually Cole did, but we did yeah. collectively. Yeah. Pretty cool. See, this was, uh, I was a little bit nervous given the circumstances because I could go down there and drive you around and they'd be like, hey, <laughs> there's one. But it means more when you find it yourself. Well, of course. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was it, so excited. I'm so glad. <laughs> I was nervous. Yeah. yeah. It's always a hunt. So yeah. even me, I mean, I'm not going home mad. I my goal is to find one whole megalodon tooth per dive. That's my goal. And I did that today. So I'm happy. Yeah. They weren't big. That was from the second dive. That's my bag from the second dive, but it's still a whole bag. I'm still happy. We had a good time. And uh we it's, had a blast. I don't, I don't know about, about you. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're 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 gonna be friends forever. I think so. It was a good day. It was a good day. You know what we say? Black gold. Black gold. That's right. <laughs>